Hi, my beautiful Capricorns, and welcome to Arcana Priestess. So this is going to be a love reading. We're going to do a you versus them. This is going to be for the rest of October and the beginning of November. All right, Capricorn. So let's get your energy. Show me what Capricorn needs to see when it comes to love, please. Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. And I'm going to have you think of a person. Capricorn. Six of Cups. And the person on Capricorn's mind. The person on Capricorn's mind. Six of Cups, the Three of Swords. So for a lot of you guys, this is some sort of past situation. This could very well be a current situation that's just very complex, complicated. Um, there could have definitely been some sort of betrayal in this situation. What I see here is you hoping for either open lines of communication or reconciliation. Some of you, this is an apology. Some of you, this is clarity, but there is something that you're expecting from this person or something that is missing that you need from this person. For a lot of you guys, there is this energy where you feel like this is a connection that is out of this world, but there's this energy where you can definitely sense that this person, like, it's like you feel like you both feel the same, but your way of going about that feeling is wanting you, is making you want to move forward. And this person, it's kind of pushing them backwards. And so where one person is like moving forward in alignment, the other person is stagnant and holding back. And because one person is trying to control the situation, it's not working out in anybody's favor. And it's just creating a lot of stagnancies, possibly even arguments here. I feel like if this is somebody from the past, you are definitely open to reconciliation. I think even if you've tried to move on, there's something that's holding you from moving on from this person because you feel so deeply connected to them. I think that you also see the best in this person. And so even if they're not showing you the results that you want or they're not treating you in the way that you, you know you deserve, there's something within you that feels as though I know that this person is acting like this because of this reason and I want to give them the benefit of the doubt because I know that they're capable of loving me in a better way. At the same time, you also want to make sure that you aren't lowering yourself in any way, shape or form because, you know, to make up for what this person can't give you in this moment. I feel like for some of you, that's my, that might be why you had walked away in the past or why you feel like you want to walk away in this current moment is because you weren't getting the truth, you weren't getting the clarity. Um, you, you probably just got tired of things at one point. When it comes to this person's energy with the Three of Swords, if there is an apology that needs to be had, I definitely feel like that's coming towards you. For a lot of you guys, this is somebody who feels very, very like sorry for the way that they had treated you. It's like, I'm getting the quote, hurt people hurt people. I think that they took out their anger against you. Um, this person definitely could have had a really rocky past relationship. And so they have this fear where whatever happened before is gonna ultimately happen again. For some of you, it even goes down to the point of, you know, possibly third party situations, some sort of lies. And, and for some of you, the lies aren't as crazy as a, another person. But for some of you, the lies are, all, are ultimately just this person not being truthful with their feelings, this person masking how they actually feel because they're not healed from something. Whether that thing is someone from the past, because for a lot of you, I think it is. But for others of you, this could have just been the way that this person experienced love growing up. And because it wasn't that great, they really have no idea how to love. So this person may be older, but emotionally, their maturity isn't the strongest. It isn't the greatest here. And so I feel like this is somebody who is kind of losing it right now, trying to figure out how they're going to make this better, how they're going to make this right. How are they going to get you back? Um, how are they even going to get you to hear them out? And I think that this person has definitely been like stuck in their mind. Definitely. It's like, there's this, I don't know, I'm hearing a nightmare. They feel like, they feel like there's like this loop that they're playing over and over again of how things went down and how could they have let things get so bad. All right. So let's get your energy Capricorn. You have the sun so you're definitely open to healing this um you're definitely open to renewing show me this person's energy the person on capricorn's mind some of you you may have a child with this person and that's why you don't see um you don't see yourself like giving up 
So with the Sun card here, I feel like you have a lot of truth coming towards you. And a lot of you, this truth is either, I feel like for some of you, this is going to make you, it's kind of like a confirmation of everything that you already know when it comes to this person, finding out this truth. And then from that moment, you're going to have to decide you're either all in or all out. You're both going to be deciding, are we going to go through this and move forward? Or are we going to just end this here? Are we good for each other or are we not, right? I think that this is a communication coming in on what didn't work before and how you can truly make it work. Communication definitely needs to be amplified between the two of you guys. Um, with this energy here, I think that right now you're meant to be spending a lot of time with your family, with your loved ones, spending a lot of time focusing and reflecting on yourself, journaling, meditation. These are all things that are going to help you receive answers that you need. I definitely also would recommend um, crystals, working with crystals. Specifically, I'm seeing selenite, I'm seeing sunstone, I'm seeing blue calcite, I'm seeing amethyst. These are all, um, and pyrite as well, these are all really good crystals for you guys to use. I'm, I'm hearing, especially in the morning during meditation, um, specifically just holding them in each of your palms and really just kind of like doing some sort of meditation that relates to releasing. I think that around this time, you're also going to be finding out a lot of truth about yourself. And some of you, you're really close to finding out what you're meant to do in this lifetime, like between now and August of next year, you're going to be living in alignment with your purpose. So if you don't know what your purpose is and you're kind of freaking out career wise, know that your purpose is coming to you. You are in this shift where everything that is meant to happen is on the right track. It may not be the track that you've aligned for yourself or you've wanted for yourself, but it's a track that is needed in order for this to work out the right way. And so patience is definitely going to be recommended in this moment. Right now, I think... Um, with this five of swords here so if this is somebody that you know you're reaching out to or you're still trying with for some of you it's like you may need to take your energy back here because with this person's energy we have the three of swords and the five of swords here and i feel like with this it is representing if you add these all up it's about it's about this person holding themselves back it's about them having sleepless nights it's about them really in this energy of i don't know i feel like this person could just not really like at one point, they really didn't see what they were doing wrong. You know what I mean? And so I feel like, I don't know, this person could be someone that's kind of playing the victim in, certain, in a certain sense. They could absolutely be playing the victim. I feel like this person is going to come back around and try to reconcile with you. But I think that it's you, you definitely shouldn't take them back right away. I think that this person needs to prove to themselves that they are ready. Because I think that this person has a really strong fear of losing you. And it's stronger than it ever has been. And so they might say things that are exactly what you want to hear and things that they intend to do, but they're not ready to do in this current moment. Okay. I think that this person really does not want you to move on or go and be towards another person, but there is still some work that they need to do. There's a lot of work that they need to do. And it's up to you to ask yourself, do I think that this person is worth it? Right? Because it's not going to be an easy relationship. I don't really think that everything easy is good anyways. And I feel like with Capricorns, you definitely have, you know, a lot of a harder time than most people when it comes to your relationships. Uh, some of you guys, there is something blocking you guys, whether it's your mother, your father, it's some sort of relationship with a parent that needs to be healed. Um, whether this is you getting healing from them or you just saying your peace and having that being able to free you and for you to be able to receive better love through that. But there's definitely some sort of parental um blockage from love and and how you were brought up or the love that you didn't receive possibly you might have had you know one of your parents or both of your parents um weren't really lovey-dovey you know weren't really emotional or very expressive with you I definitely feel like some of you also felt like you had to grow up a lot quicker than you were meant to um but yeah with this person's energy and the five of swords I feel I feel like some of you are absolutely better off without this person but you can't just obviously shut off your heart and decide like I'm just completely done. And so for some of you, this cycle may need to run out a little bit longer before you are able to set yourself free from this. For others of you, I think that you may end up dating other people and giving this person another chance and kind of like seeing how it works out. Um, but I think that, you know, you really need to keep in mind that this person, it seems like they're not well. And it seems like when they're in this energy they don't they don't do the right thing there's a lot of self-sabotaging energy that's surrounding this person but i'm also feeling like i said before i think so much guilt that this person has 
And so, yes, you're going to get your apology, but is it worth it? I think that's the real question here. Um, yeah, so you have a lot of thinking to do, a lot of communication that's going to come, that's going to help you to think clearly, to see clearly. In any way where you aren't 100% certain about certain things, you're going to have the truth right in front of your face. So if you've been ignoring things, you will no longer be able to ignore them anymore. And at the same time that this is coming around, you're also being tested on how are you able to stick to your worth and to what it is that you know feels right and you know is ultimately for you. All right, Capricorn? So that is what I have for you. I hope that you guys have a beautiful rest of this month and beginning of um, November. Let me know in the comments how this resonates. I would love to hear and I will see you guys soon. Take care, love.